guys, I am Nikki of Nikki and Eric, and today we are at an abandoned hair salon. Now you might have seen another video where Eric talked about this whole entire corner in downtown Murfreesboro that he bought. It included a little coffee shop, this abandoned hair salon, and an 8,000 square foot warehouse. So I need your help to tell us what in the world do we do with this place? But before we get into it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel. And we promise to bring you more free, riveting, and so, so, so knowledge filled content. building we actually met with a designer out here an architect designer and she gave us a design concept for it and it was really really cool and we loved it but the more we kind of worked with that warehouse the more we fell in love with the warehouse life so we decided you know what let's just sell it so we put it up on the market but it didn't sell but it is still for sale if you want it but then we kind of came back and we're playing with it should we turn it into you know another company that would help our business like a title company or should we just make it a hair salon again we don't know what we're going to do to it but i have a really cool design concept plan we'll show it here you can look at it and we're going to do some cool things inside but again you know i don't know if it makes sense so y'all decide but let's go inside and look at it this was originally set up to be two different businesses which is kind of cool so it had the two dual entrances but in here you'll walk in and you'll see why we loved it and while we we're so torn on what to do with it we have these really old fireplaces that are still intact you know they don't work at all but they look really good and these beautiful hardwood floors I mean I love them I would want to keep these like the, the color and everything I think is beautiful and then it was actually maintained pretty well. You know, we're gonna go back here and it was originally a house, I guess, many, many, many years ago. And then it's been in a commercial property and it's more laid out to be a, an office space or a hair salon. Um, like there's only one half bathroom in here, but it is just a toilet and a sink. So, you know, you couldn't even take a shower there. This was an add-on maybe in like 19, 80 or so they came and they built this on and you can clearly tell too that it is an add-on because it's got the plywood floors it's got these cool built-ins my thought was when this was a hair salon this is like where they kept all their their hair colors and they came back here and they mixed the formulas they went back up front and did their clients hair but we were kind of thinking if we did keep this this could be like our design area where we could keep all of our samples of countertops and paints and you know, all that cool fun stuff, tile selections. Um, and you do have an exterior door here. And then really, it just makes a big circle. And then you come back this way, they took up the floors, or maybe they laid this over the hardwood, because there's not, the, the hardwood isn't continued in here. But, you know, back out here, we have another office with the pretty, pretty floors and another gorgeous fireplace. And if you look in the closets, you can tell that before they, you know, came in and did drywall. They had the, uh, the original shiplap, you know, just the wall that was covered with wood, <laughs> which is really cool. And that's kind of how Joanna Gaines got her whole inspiration for the shiplap. She loved that natural old look in the house. And there it is in our closet. That was probably from like 1920. Pretty cool and original. Now the cool part about this is there is an upstairs. Let's go check that out. And today, guess what? It's summertime. So we have our helpers with us all summer long. There is uh, some motivational quotes on the stairs. Very, very inspirational. But up here, you know, we do have seven foot ceilings. So technically that doesn't count in your square footage space. But in the plan that we had, we had them blowing the ceiling up and taking it back. So we got two full 
offices and a big conference area as well over here. And you can look in here now. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but you can see like the original fireplace chimney part in there. It's really cool. I love looking at the the history of the house and all the, the secrets they used to keep that, you know, we, we just covered up with drywall. So up here was just a, I don't even know what this was. The windows busted out. So obviously we would need new windows. And then on the other side over here, it's just another smaller office. Now on the plans, you can see we have taken this and we've blown it out completely. Now this renovation is pretty involved and also everything is very old, like from 1920 when the house was built. So we're running new plumbing, running new electrical. So we are looking at a six figure rehab here. I think we could get the money out of it, but if we kept it, you know, it doesn't really matter if we got the money out of it, but we are going to have to cash flow this rehab. So we're kind of just perplexed as to what to do. Something that we were going to do here though, that I think is so, so, so cool. And we need to start doing, it is costly. We need to do it is iron and glass walls. Downstairs, keep the two fireplaces because they are front and back of each other and do one whole wall with black iron and glass. So you could just totally see what was going on in the other areas. It was just a really cool trendy vibe, but it also gave you the seclusion of a private conference room. We know we do have a really cool plan for this, but we just don't know if we wanna invest that much of our own cash into this project. But as you are aware, Eric bought that whole corner and this was just part of it. So we have the warehouse next door that we have a solid game plan for and the coffee shop actually has already been sold and totally transformed. I really think this area is going up, 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 but do we wanna be the ones to bring this property up? I don't know, y'all comment, let us know. So there it is. What do we do? Do we continue to sell it? That hasn't worked out great so far, but we can keep on going that way. Also, we could tear it down and start up. Like I said, this area is going nowhere but up and surrounding it, like right there, we have a really cool bank across the road that's beautiful, it's architecturally very pleasing. Um, and, and you know, and, and downtown is really just booming right now here in Murfreesboro. Or do we rehab it and keep it as an office? Let us know, subscribe, and we'll keep you updated on what we do here. Like and, and subscribe to my mommy and daddy's channel.